Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Raising Rayburns. Carol here, and a happy Monday to you. It is time to see all of our groceries for this week. I did order online through King Supers this week, and Thomas went and picked it up at the store. Easy peasy. So let me show you all of the things. Starting on this side of the counter, but not with our drinks today. We have some boxes in the back. A giant size cinnamon toast crunch for the kids and such for breakfast, along with the giant size frosted mini wheats. We have some toilet paper, our favorite Simple Truth recycled brand variety. We just really like this one. It's better for our skin personally as a family. We've got some bagels here. I'm gonna have these for breakfast. Some cinnamon rolls for an easy weekend breakfast. And it's been a hot minute since we've had these. So this is definitely a treat. Some buttermilk pancakes. We got two boxes of those for breakfast as well. Some Cheez-Its, a whole big old family size. And then we will sort those into individual snack bags. In terms of drinks, don't worry, they exist. We are a family that I know we really like our liquids. Uh, I feel like I get comments about that all the time. I totally understand. A lot of homes don't have juice or soda and the choices are like milk, orange juice, and water. When I was growing up, we were not a very big soda or juice household. Uh, that is just the way that it was. And in our house, it is not that way. Thomas grew up having a wide variety of drinks and that is definitely how our family leans as well. So we have one of these cran grape and then a Snapple down below. These are specifically for the teenager. I also wanted to try the Olipop that is like super in right now. This is supposed to be a healthy version of soda. It has prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. So that sounds interesting. Two grams of sugar per can. It is plant powered supposedly. And if you look at the back, there are some calories and some carbs. So I don't know that this is going to be a really good option for myself as a diabetic, but I did wanna try it. So I got two of them, the cream soda, as well as the tropical punch. So I am excited to give these a go and see how I like them. In the front here, we have some meats. We got a pack of pork chops for five bucks and then some ham. This is for Thomas and Mel. Some Lunchables here in the front as well. This is for Joanna Banana. Next up, last of the meat things, we have some Morning Star Farms veggie tizers. These are the ve veggie buffalo wings. They're so good. And when I mean they are so, so good, I don't mean that they're good for a vegan product. No, no. I mean these are the best buffalo wing chicken nuggets I've ever had. Uh-huh, ever to include the ones from Wendy's that some people enjoy. And I did too at one point, but these have now ruined me for those because these are perfect. So wanted to get another bag of those cause yum. Some mild cheddar, shredded cheese, some ice cream. This is our Ben and Jerry's non-dairy chocolate fudge brownie. This one is, let's see, it usually says what kind of milk. Nope, doesn't say on this one, just smooth and creamy with a new recipe. I liked the old recipe, so we'll see how that is for me. We got four boxes of mac and cheese to add into the pantry, just running out. Sodas in the back, we've got two two liters of lemon lime, a two liter of cherry cola, a two liter of regular cola, and two two liters of zero sugar Coca-Cola. Coke Zero, man, ooh, so, so good. Also needed a 12 pack of cola for Thomas for his lunches for the week, some Kool-Aid jammers for the house as well, and the orange juice that he takes for work as well. Here in the mid, we've got some petite medley tomatoes, lots of those for the week. I also got myself the salted caramel chai tea latte mix. It's been a hot minute since I've gotten this for myself and I really enjoyed the vanilla one, so this time, I wanted to give the salted caramel a go. I have been working my way slowly through the matcha one, and I like matcha, but the one from the store is a little weird, just a little bit more earthy than even I like my matcha, but I'm working through that as well. We've got some cream cheese to go with the bagels, and then we have our other fruits and veggies, so a field green mix, some broccoli, 
zucchini, asparagus, lettuce. I have shared before that I am a green veggie girl. I don't tend to lean towards yellow or orange vegetables, um, especially things like carrots are not my favorite, but you know, if they're cooked, I will eat them. It's just different. We also got some grapes for the week, the green grapes here, as well as some red grapes. Although that is the saddest little bag of red grapes. It looks like there's a bundle missing out of that one. We got some milk in the back and then strawberry banana. Um, this is like a smoothie. This is for Mel. I meant to get the big one, but you know, sometimes when you're ordering online, mistakes happen. It is what it is. She'll enjoy that. A bunch of rice because it was on sale and I really want to try to fill our container all the way up just so we have it. I just like having a good supply of staples like rice because you never know. Some brownies for snack bin and some bananas as well. Little uh, uh, vegetarian dinner tonight. We've got our veggie tizer, amazing. We got some rice, we got some cheesy broccoli, and we have ranch dressing because ranch is life. As for Thomas and Mel, they are having rice as well and chicken chicken and some broccoli and cheese. And then Mel has Alfredo sauce on her rice. And with that, it is time to close out our video for this evening. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that we got for groceries for this week. With my dinner, I am also going to try the Olipop Tropical Punch. Uh, so if I liked it, we'll see. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Editing Carol, get it together. Um, our grocery total for tonight came out to $155, which is great. So we are a family of four. We live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we attempt to keep our grocery budget to $200 per week. If you are new here, then you don't know this, but last week we were over budget, um, and this week we are not. So once again, I feel like life just does that whole like balancing act, right? Uh, anywho, so we're going to go eat dinner. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!